stop. Launched atop a Vega rocket on the 11th of February from French Guiana, IXV glided through the atmosphere subject to the same conditions as any other spaceship returning from low Earth orbit. On its way down, its advanced pressure and temperature sensors recorded a vast amount of information. This now needs to be analyzed to assess the behavior of the new materials and technologies incorporated into the vehicle. The results will allow engineers to better understand the complexities of atmospheric re-entry and help them to design future European reusable re-entry vehicles. After splashing down in the Pacific Ocean, above the equatorial line west of the Galapagos Islands, divers from the Nos Aires recovery ship approach the floating spaceship to check for residual propellant fumes. Once confirmed clear of any toxic remnants, IXV was hoisted out of the water and secured on the ship's deck. Domenico, Domenico, Mission crew members could then retrieve the card storing all data collected during the flight and empty the fuel tank. Apart from a few scratches, IXV seems to be in perfect condition. However, the post-flight analysis will cast more light on the details of its space odyssey. A 100-minute flight during which IXV was closely monitored from the Mission Control Center in Turin, Italy, gathering data from different ground stations around the Earth and, of course, from the recovery ship in the Pacific. IXV made a picture-perfect flight and splashed down in the ocean precisely where it was expected to. Knowing how to return autonomously from space is crucial for a wide range of space applications, such as servicing orbital platforms like the International Space Station, robotic exploration, returning samples from other planets and bringing astronauts back to Earth. IXV's success not only demonstrated Europe's potential to play an important role in the future of space transportation, it also confirmed the outstanding capabilities of Vega, Europe's smallest and versatile launcher.